New Orleans, where the Sacramento Kings and the Hornets will hook up for the first time this year. Some of the flavor when you come down here to the Crescent City, and it's good to be with an old friend, a original first-round draft pick of the Sacramento Kings, Pacer Stoyakovic. How you doing, bud? Good. How are you? Everything's good, uh, but i got to tell you, I've only been down here for about 24 hours, and I would think you guys haven't won a game yet this year. We haven't been playing well the uh, last couple of games. We started well. Our preseason was excellent. And we just uh, haven't been consistent uh, as we like to be on both ends of the floor. And we just have to be more aggressive and, uh, as I said, consistent and uh, keep playing. We're not going to be able to surprise as many people as we did last year have to play and, and earn it. You, you said earn it. You've been through this before with Sacramento where everybody you know, is aiming for you. Talk about last year's experience, and with that comes high expectations. So are you saying that your team right now has not met that challenge of the high expectations early in the season? Obviously, after, after going uh, into the second round with, uh, with the San Antonio and taking them to the Game 7, and uh, obviously we have a big expectations uh, as the players and, and as the organization, and then obviously... This city gave us huge support last year, and, and definitely we all expect bigger things this year. But uh, we gotta play. We gotta prove to people that we are worth it, and then we deserve to be a playoff team. You have a special team here, but I, I'm curious: when you have quiet moments, do you reflect back on how great and how special the moments were in Sacramento, particularly when you guys made the run? That was something else. Uh, we had a great chemistry on and off the court, and uh, it happened one. Once in a lifetime. Yeah. So we had a good time. We had our chances, and uh, we should cherish that rest of our life. All right, you're playing with a very special player in Chris Paul, who still is not yet anywhere near his prime. He's scary good, isn't he? He's unbelievable. He's <laughs> the only thing we have to do right now is just uh, run the floor. Run the floor, and uh, he will find you. But uh, just... Uh, this is amazing how much he has grown as a person and uh, how mature he is as a player. And uh, he's proving that each and every night, and uh, he's uh, leading us in the right directions. The uh, former king, uh, the one thing he can still do and do uh, just about as well as anybody in the world, and that is shoot the basketball. Pacers Stoyakovich and the Hornets, a big challenge for Sacramento. When you look at that team on and off the court, uh, I'd say all the players that played on that team would agree because they've gone elsewhere and they know it's just not the same. Well, and of course, Peja, uh, the great thrills he brought uh, to all of us and uh, the fans of Sacramento, just absolutely the premier long shooter in the world still, even though starting off a little slow this year. Bill Spooner, Kevin Fear, Bill Kennedy. Yeah, excellent uh, officiating crew, about as good as you're going to get any time. Butler was put into the lineup, and it's 2 nothing. Jerry, that's, uh, again, a situation that we saw too much of in, uh, during this losing streak, and that's layups. Yeah, the Kings uh, really had a chance to uh, switch that, uh, but uh, just uh, getting too many easy shots early are the uh, we we're used to seeing here. The Kings have got to toughen up on the defense end in order to play a quality team like this. I'm sure Dante Green right now has got the uh, chest thumping, his first NBA start, and the Kings answer back with Peno Utrecht to tie the game at two. Yeah, it's good that Baino needs to be aggressive against Chris Paul. Chris Paul, obviously, is the key to this team, but uh, work him on both ends when you can. And we're seeing John Salmons guarding Paul, and that's an uh, interesting strategy with the size and strength of uh, and defensive ability of Salmons. Hopefully that'll uh, slow Paul down a little. New Orleans, five and four. Paul, a three. And the rebound taken by Baino Udrich. Beno directing traffic with 10 on the 24. <laughs> Two guys came up to set a screen, and now it's Thompson, and it gets down low, and it's no good, but we have a foul. Nope, we have a travel on Thompson. So Bill Kennedy calls a walk, and the Kings with their first turnover. Tyson Chandler has really blossomed uh, with the Hornets. Not not a blossoming shot there. That was about two feet short, though. Wow. Well, yeah, Tyson Chandler is an excellent player, but as you said, he's not going to make too many perimeter shots. So if you keep him out there, you're doing your job. Quick shot by the Kings. Hornets have not been shooting the ball well to start this season. And uh, here tonight, they're one of three to open up the ball game. 
And there's the excitement and the quick move by Paul, and he will get to the line. Foul is on Jason Thompson. Yeah, Jason Thompson had uh, switched off on Chris 